My name is Drew Anderson. I'm a research specialist out here at Basket. Um, during the spring and the late winter, I uh, help to put together um, and make the maple syrup that we uh, produce out here. So we start off um, with obviously sugar maple trees um, and we'll drill uh, a pretty small hole into them, less than an inch deep, and then tap it with this. Um, so this fits tight up against the wood uh, and as the pressure in the tree increases, it'll force the sap out of this. So the spire goes in, um, and there's a little hose right here to direct uh, the flow into this bag and then we collect the uh, tree sap in these bags um, and we we'll usually empty these out anywhere between uh, once a week to a few times a week depending on how much it rains. Um, so when the sap comes out of the tree, it's about 3% sugar, um, sometimes as low as 1%, uh, but it's pretty watery. Um, so we'll transport the sap after filtering it uh, and store it in this big holding tank up here. Um, we can fit uh, over 200 gallons of sap in there, which will boil down to um, substantially less. The sap will slowly trickle in and feed into the boiler. Um, once in the boiler, uh, it kind of constantly feeds itself, and as the uh, sap boils down and the water uh, comes out and it's reduced to more sugar, uh, more sap will just keep flowing in, so it kind of maintains um, an equilibrium. And as uh, the sap flows in, it starts over here and moves its way through some channels and ends up over here. Uh, and at that point it will be um, at least 30% sugar, usually around 35 or 40, um, where we'll pour it off of the wood-fired boiler um, and then move that to another propane boiler to get it up to that 66%. So this boiler right here was handmade. And this is actually a wood-fired boiler. Uh, and the wood burns pretty hot, so um, we fill this bad boy up and it gets roaring. And there's the exhaust um, system right here. Um, but yeah, this is a really classic way, um, especially on a wood-fired boiler, to make maple syrup. And we're glad to have this. It does a great job. This is our finishing boiler. It's essentially just uh, two stainless steel tanks um, that we, once we finish the boiling in the main boiler, um, we'll pour the syrup in here and finish it on propane. This gives us a little bit more precision as far as the sugar content and where we're trying to get. You obviously can't cool down a wood-fired stove very quickly, so propane gives us that control and flexibility. Um, so we'll boil it in this main tank and we're looking for about 66% sugar. Uh, to gauge that, we use what's called a refractometer. Um, all we have to do is put a little bit of sap here on this lens, and then when you close it and look into the light, the prism inside will tell you on a scale what percentage of sugar you're at in your syrup. Um, so once we're at 66%, uh, we'll run it through a series of wool filters, um, and that's the second filtration stage we do, and that just serves to get any um, crystals or other stuff that might still be in the sap. Um, out before we bottle it. Um, and then from there it goes to this other holding tank once it's filtered um, and then we'll bottle it there um, individually once it's ready to go. So this is our final product, our basket maple syrup. Um, you can find this at South Farm Showcase or other school events that we have. Um, all the proceeds go to keeping the operation um, self-sustaining. This is a student project after all. We usually end up with uh, four or five batches, equaling maybe 30 gallons or so at the end of the season, depending on how much it rained that year um, and how much uh, sap we were able to draw. We sell bottles of syrup for $10 at school functions. In the future, uh, we definitely are trying to work on more outreach and show people how maple syrup is made and how it's pretty easy to make at home if you want to do it yourself. Mm -hmm.